Hello and welcome to Freed Indeed Live. Uh, those of you who saw my video last week know that I promised I was going to record back to back uh, lessons or videos today. Um, and so that's what I'm doing now. And so in my last video, I talked about the manna principle and how it relates to the Sabbath principle in the Old Testament and how both of these principles point us to our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I want to uh, go down a much lighter path. I want to do a much lighter video. It'll probably be a much shorter video. Um, and basically, I want to talk about something that I've been meditating, something I've been pondering, and that is um, I've already done videos and lectures in which I've defended the Orthodox practice of um, invoking the saints and calling upon the saints to pray for us. I'm not going to make another video defending that practice. You guys can go watch the videos I've already made defending our practice. I'll, I'll even link them in the description below um, if I remember which I assume that I will. Uh, so check the link in the description below. But even if I forget, they're on the YouTube channel, so you can go and find them. Um, I've defended the doctrine of intercessory prayer plenty. But I want to talk about my own kind of growth in this area and, and my own development over time. So I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. Um, when I first became Orthodox, even as a catechumen, um, even when I was a catechumen, I, from the time I had my first Orthodox prayer book, um, which I still use to this very day, I invoked the saints in prayer. I invoked my patron saint. That was really the, uh, my patron saint and the Theotokos were initially the only saints that I really invoked in prayer. And I was kind of uncomfortable with um, invoking the saints in prayer. It, it, was not, uh, it was not something that came naturally to me as a former Protestant. I uh, felt awkward with it. And then over to, I would love to tell you guys that I had some religious epiphany. I would love to tell you guys that um, in great piety, my mind was changed. Unfortunately, that's not exactly how it happened. What actually happened is um, my development in this started out very pragmatic. Uh, I noticed that as I would ask the saints for things, uh, things would happen. And the more I asked the saints for things, the more amazing things would happen. And so I began invoking the saints more and more. And I began asking more saints for more things. And I began to see um, radical transformation in my life. And um, about three years ago, uh, I had been Orthodox by that point for two years. I asked myself, I wonder what would happen if I just went all in. I wonder what would happen if I just dove in with both feet. If I just stopped choosing to be uncomfortable and just fully embraced this beauty that the Orthodox Church has given me, this beauty of being able to ask the saints and invoke the saints in my prayers. And as I uh, contemplated this, I, at some point, made the decision that I would, in fact, do just that. I would, in fact, uh, that I would, in fact, invoke the saints and that I would make the saints a larger part of, uh, of my life. that I would invoke saints for everything. Uh, that So, for example, every day I pray the prayer of St. Philaret of Moscow. 
um, a prayer that I've encouraged you all to pray on multiple occasions. So I know that you're all familiar with the prayer of St. Philaret of Moscow. Um, but very often, in fact, almost every day, after I finish praying that prayer, I also ask St. Philaret of Moscow to pray for me that the prayer which he wrote would be the true and genuine prayer of my heart. Um, every day before I do my Spanish lessons on Duolingo, I ask Saints Cyril and Methodius to pray for me and to pray for my Spanish lessons so that um, my learning of Spanish may be used for the glory of God just as their learning of Russian was. Every day um, before I record these videos, I ask um, in addition to praying over the video myself, I ask um, either the day's saint or my patron saint or a relevant to the topic saint to pray for me. Before I read, I pray over what I'm about to read. And then I ask Saints Yevgeny and um, Gregory of Palamas to pray for me, um, to pray for my studying. In all that I do, I invoke uh, saints, and I've seen so much transformation. I've even started, I've gotten to the point where every time I make a Facebook post, I um, add to the end of the Facebook post invoking a relevant saint to pray for myself and all those reading the Facebook post or uh, Instagram post or whatever social media post. And I've found this to be such a great blessing. And I wanted to share this trajectory that I've had because I think it's worth, first of all, if you are where I started and you, uh, you feel like you can't imagine ever um, being comfortable invoking the saints in prayer, just know that, that, that it's okay to be there. Um, it doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a bad Orthodox Christian. It just means that you have some maturing to do in this area. But I would encourage you to step outside your comfort zone a little bit and, and put yourself out there and do ask the saints for their help because we have this beautiful family in Christ and they they love us and they delight to help us and to be there for us and so and their prayer the scripture says that the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much and the saints are righteous men and women and so their fervent prayers really do avail much and the transformative power that you'll experience in your life from the prayers of the saints. See, now when I when I practice Spanish, it's no longer just this chore. It's a uh, now because of the prayers of St. Cyril and Methodius. Now, when I practice Spanish, there is an almost spiritual quality to that time spent there is sort of the grace of god moves in that time spent when i make these videos it's no longer just me um sitting in front of a camera talking but i have this sense in which the videos i'm making are blessed yes by god but also by the presence of the holy saints and martyrs who I'm calling out to. When I interact with people on social media, I know that the saints are praying for me and for the person I'm interacting with. Um, when people are reading my posts, they're being prayed over by the saints. And I've seen how this has transformed the lives of people who read my posts. I've seen how it has touched people's lives. I've seen how uh, my posts have given people so much more comfort, so much more peace, so much more, um, so much deep, more depth in their walk with God. I've I've had so many people come to me and talk to me about this, and all of it, 
I truly believe stems at least in part from the fact that in all of these things, I'm not relying on myself. I'm relying on God. And in all of these things, I, I, I use the resource before me of the Holy Saints to um, bring these things into a kind of, of, to bring these things out of a kind of secular um, finitude and bring them up into a kind of spiritual practice. So I just want to encourage you guys do not be shy about invoking the saints and don't ever feel bashful about invoking the saints. Invoke the saints, bring the saints into everything you do and watch how God transforms everything that you do through that practice. And please share this with your friends so that they too can be freed indeed. God bless.